we're going to get into our thoughts as to why Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight is a masterpiece. Hmm. Okay? I don't think it is. Oh, hold on now. You're just being con- contrarian. No, yeah, I would agree with Wyatt here. I've watched it more recently, and it's not that great of a film. The thing that's good, oh, okay, the, things, the thing that's good, I didn't say that. is is the Joker. No, 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 but no, no, okay. no, no. It's no, a no. very specific Joker that everybody tries to imitate now. Dude, okay. you are whack. All right, hold on. No. I, I, Wrong. I was. I was. You I can't was, see past the Joker. That's your problem. I was joshing just a little bit. I think the movie's a really great movie. No. I thought when you when you sent the text, I thought you had phrased it. Why is it the perfect? Maggie Gyllenhaal. Who wants Maggie Gyllenhaal in their film? <sighs> you have some weird thing against Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yes, I don't she like her. She's not a acting. bad actress. No, she's the worst. No, she's, she's not. She's the worst. She delivered her a believable Jake. performance. She's the worst. You just don't like her because you don't think she's attractive, and that's it. But she's not a bad actor. Listen, a lot uh, of people I, are going to watch no, this. No. Oh, okay, wait. Uh, hear this. Give hear me, me a out. reason. What is the reason? <laughs> okay, hear me out. Okay. Give me, give me. All right. Sit up at the mic and give you a reason, boy. I'm, I'm about to give a... I'm not going to be... Hush. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to hush. You open this give, clip. Give me 10 seconds. You open this give, video. No, give me 30 seconds. You open this conversation saying, I don't think it's a... It's not a good Bruce, film. Bruce. We're going to come get you, Bruce. That, that whole scene in the... in the Said the guy who's not an actor. No. She's an actor. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> so, we're going to come get you, Bruce. What was that for? When she dies. She, no, that's not what she, she says. She didn't do any better performance-wise than the first girl. That's true. The first, the first Rachel. Rachel was. I don't know. I don't think she did a fantastic job. Listen, if you hate because, Maggie Gyllenhaal so much, have, why aren't you pleased? They killed her. Just say She's I gone. don't like Maggie Gyllenhaal. I don't. But there's nothing that. wrong with her acting. I said that. I didn't no, know because you said, I've said this. You said, I agree with Wyatt. Things. This is not a good film. That's what you said. And you said it with seriousness in your eyes. And Wyatt said it like side-eyeing me. Everybody, it, when we were in high school, everybody was like, The Dark Knight is the best film out there. And as a film, okay, let's isolate all the Heath Ledger Joker moments. Take them out of the film. And just watch The Dark Knight. You still get some very excellent Harvey Dent, some very excellent Batman and Bruce Wayne performances, Alfred, oh uh, James no, we get Gordon. Gosh. We get a... Um, You're far too surface level. Stop! <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. It's incredible. You're far too surface level thinking for what what makes something a masterpiece i like the joker it's not no the acting <laughs> is think, like the acting is like not necessarily on the list of importance uh it is no if the, we were gonna the say acting a good doesn't batman the acting a good batman i would lean towards the newer batman because he more does more detective stuff i would say that's a better batman than this oh my God. i don't i wouldn't call this movie like a masterpiece it's no dune yes uh, but it's a very good movie in my opinion it's a very good movie if i was going to watch a christopher it's, nolan it's shot incredibly well interstellar it's, is it the best bat is it the best batman movie it's up there it's up there as the best Batman movie. Both of you guys are whack. Look, it just be I. I like Batman Begins better. Oh my! As a film, God. as a film, the All bad right. guy was better in this one. Heath Ledger played a good Joker, but as a film, I like the Begins better. I, I'm I'm not I'm I'm just. I think you're a little bit of a Dark Knight apologist. Yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah. Wait, All right, give me one bad thing. Give me one bad thing. Uh, the, uh, uh, mm, like give me a second to formulate a thought. Give me another thing besides freaking Gyllenhaal. Besides? Because you have a prejudice. Besides? Tell me, tell me why this is not a masterpiece. Because uh, honestly, in the public square, people like us, not, not, not people in Hollywood telling us this is a masterpiece. Regular people know mm-hmm. this is a masterpiece. Give me a reason why it's not. You guys have to explain yourselves. I don't have to prove anything. 
Because when you search, is Batman, like, why is Batman so good or something? And there's going to be a long list of videos, and we're going to be right there. And all of the other videos are backing up my points. I thought Bruce Wayne was pretty weak in this one. Yeah, I don't think a Christian Bale. This is not Christian Bale's best okay. performance. Yeah, I thought, so, I thought Bruce Wayne was pretty weak. There wasn't much Christopher going for Nolan. Him. So the the main thing, the, the character development for Bruce Wayne in this film is out of control. It, the way it, he is, good. Pre- the, no, the way the Joker pressures his character and his belief about not like the Batman doesn't have any limitations, essentially. Mm. All right. At the end, we he comes face to face with his limitations, realize it's not all about the Batman being a solo vigilante. It's not about him solving all the problems because he can't. Because ultimately, the film is about the Joker and Batman battling for the soul of Gotham. Mm -hmm. That's the main point of the thing. It's not the Batman trying to fight or trying to take down the Joker and the Joker just toying with Batman. That's not the point. The Joker, they're both fighting for the same goal. All right? Right. They're fighting for Mm -hmm. to prove or expose Gotham for who it is. Bruce Wayne wants to expose Gotham saying that there is hope in the city. There is good people and there is this, this city is a good place. It's not fully corrupt. Hmm. He believes that and he's fighting for the city. The Joker is on the other end of that. He is saying this city is corrupt. This is just stuff that's in the movie. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. You guys are. Like, you're, listen, you're, I'm trying guy, to I'm trying I, to break I'm not, down why this is a good I'm film. Trying, and you guys are coming at it like. <laughs> It Bruce is, Wayne didn't have a lot of lines. It is a good movie. It's a it's a really good movie. And I mean, the performances are out of this world. Except but it's home. not like it's not like Blade Runner. It's not Blade Runner. But it's a different kind of movie. Yeah. For superhero movies, it's a masterpiece. Okay, for superhero movies, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, on the scale but of why can't it just be the on same? On the scale of like, like Captain I'm, Marvel okay. to a masterpiece. Let me. Let me I want to touch on this before you yeah. move on. I would say, as a superhero movie, a lot of people don't this, quantify this as a superhero movie. This I would lean it's towards more of no, an artistic, no, no. an artistic film of a of a superhero. It it felt more like there was a lot of like artistic stuff to it. That's Christopher Nolan's style. He, and it's, a more, super, it's a superhero movie. Yeah, but he this jumps, is not he jumps, a, he falls down like 50 no, flights of, there of are superhero parking elements. lot and he they, lands on a car and doesn't die. No, there are yeah, superhero yeah, but, elements because it is a superhero movie. It has a little more artistic twist than a no, be more X-Men specific Wolverine. Than, no, be more specific than artistic. Yeah. Try to explain what you're saying. It's not just artistic. And artistic, that's what I mean. But artistic, it's, <laughs> it's artistic. <laughs> it, it's, it's, the the movie has the movie has a solid villain and story structure. Mm-hmm. It's not a unique villain or story structure. It's just good. And compared to other superhero movies, it's better than a lot of the stuff we've seen. But it's nothing. Uh, all most other superhero movies follow a similar format. What's the fa- that format? The format is usually there is a serious threat that the superhero has to overcome. This is not necessarily like a big it is a serious threat, but it's not so much like like this this is personal to not just the characters in the film, but to us as people of the world. Mm-hmm. Because Gotham is a very relatable city. It's literally Pittsburgh, you know? Right. I feel like everything you're saying was rehearsed coming into this. No, I'm I'm formulating my thoughts. I promise. So when it makes it personal, it's not about the world or the city's coming to an end. It's literally just saying, is this city good or bad? Hmm. Is this guy before he came? Okay, we're talking about Dark Knight. Oh, <laughs> he's writing. He's, writing he's like, why the three? Dark Knight I, <laughs> is a masterpiece. <laughs> Because we live there, it was Pittsburgh. It resonates with our city. We didn't even no, live I, in Pittsburgh. You, oh, <laughs> you guys, I don't, you're freaking, I'm not I'm making a point of saying it's like every other city it's, in America. It's real. It's, it feels real. And it's not saying the city's going to be destroyed. It's just saying there's going to be people that are selfish and make selfish choices. That's the climax yeah, 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 of the yeah, film. Yeah. Think about this. Think about the undertones that the Nolans 
wrote for this film. Chris and his brother. I can't remember his brother's name. Okay, if you want to compare a good superhero movie to this, Blade. Blade, but also I was going to say the third Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. I mean, that was it was way better than, right, now we're just than cl- now Harvey we're just, Dent. Now we're just clowning. With the coin. coin. Did it occur to you that I just kind of wanted to watch the world burn? <laughs> I just wanted to say that this isn't a masterpiece. I just wanted to. I, it occurred to me, but then he started opening his mouth in a serious way. And I know Look, he's serious about his I'm, opinion. No, I'm, okay, I know, I know I'm joking a, a lot around right here, but I'm serious growing, like, not growing up. In, when, in high school, when we watched this, I did hold this movie in such high regards and being like, it's so good. Christopher Nolan ha- did create a, a decent film here. But I think, no, he's created a good film. If I was going to say Christopher Nolan's work, Interstellar was better. As a as a superhero film, I think if you took the Joker out of it, it's not that good of a film in my opinion. I th- if you, I, I, with you, the Joker in there, it's a good you film. It's a, it's good with, film. With or without the Joker, he would have put a similar villain in. It would have been just as good. Because it was in the right. I agree. I agree. Because it was in the right. But as think a about film the as a whole, without the villain, what do we have? Think about it, the well, linear. If you ta- you're, you're, now you're just taking the villain out of the superhero movie. I am. If he subbed in Heath, the Ledger, the Heath Ledger's Joker for somebody else, the movie would have been the same. Well, it wouldn't be exactly no, the same. But it would it, not. The writing, yeah, no. It would have been Heath the same. Heath Ledger... No, no, no. Put everything into this movie. Heath Ledger put yeah. a lot in the performance, but the writing was but Christopher Nolan and his brother. Ultimately, you would have gotten a similar movie. The he, it's he's a great character, but you know, there's incredible performances all the time, everywhere, all at once. Something or another. That movie. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's the fulcrum of what makes this a good movie. It's a really good movie. I think it's, it's a just, masterpiece. When I sat I down, we could when I notes. sat down and I watched it last time, I was like, "This doesn't make sense." Yeah, this doesn't make sense. Why? Wh- how is the Joker doing all of this? It feels almost cartoonish that he can accomplish all of this stuff, and, you know, and with what? Just by himself, or does he have a million people that he is paying? all the time to be able to accomplish everything that he does in this movie. And it just felt wacky at some parts. And I was like, it's, but it's still a great movie. This, this is how I interpret. When you say this masterpiece, film. I think interstellar. Okay. Yes. But I the agree. Thing is, interstellar is interstellar has the same, what you don't, what you have qualms with this, it's the same thing with interstellar. I've got qualms with interstellar, yeah. but like, Visually and auditorially, and you know, oh, just, I didn't say the audio was you're, messed up. You're in a this story film. guy. You're a story guy. Yeah, and I love the story Think about in the this linear, movie. The, the even the subtext of the story. We're gonna I, get hate for the, this. I love it. We're gonna get hate. It's for amazing. This. It's fantastic. It is not the two sides of the same coin. The fact that they they have a constant narrative of uh, the Joker being a mad dog. You know. Like throughout the whole thing, even the visuals represent. Okay, there's there's so much complexity to you're the not, story. It's not you're just not the allowed, surface level acting. Okay, don't say anything. We're gonna give Joseph thirty seconds, sixty seconds to give us the reason why you like this film and the best parts of this film without mentioning Heath Ledger or the Joker. Go. So when it comes to the acting, that like I said. And I agree with Wyatt. That could just be replaced. All right. It's all in the writing. The writing and the story is crafted from start to finish to be a very coherent message. It's not a superhero film. It just has superheroes in it mm-hmm. or has a superhero in it and a villain in it. What it is ultimately, it is it is a detective. It is a fight for it's a political film. It really is yeah, a political it is film. A political film. And it feels like seven. You know, it feels like these dark stories that is there's a an antagonist that's 30 that's seconds too sorry you got a protagonist i actually i would say the no, the thing that detective. the thing that would bring this movie down it's, for it's me not issues. taking joker out if you took out the harvey dent storyline that would drop this movie way down for me 
because the Harvey Dent storyline is such a pivotal like crux for this. Yes. If it, if you didn't have that, if you didn't have the Joker coming in and well, that yeah, because that is kind of creating Harvey Dent, then it would just be Batman versus the Joker. That's the story. Yeah. But, but you're saying but the way that the way that he like. The way that he he makes Harvey Dent, who's a good guy, into a bad guy, that that all of that feels really great. I think the story of Harvey Dent, I do like, and that's what I would agree it does hold it together. Mm-hmm. I don't like Harvey Dent because Yo, you're because of because his, the, conne- the cause his connection with Rachel. Well, the, that, but also, <laughs> low, he's like. All right, Shut that's, up! that's 30 seconds no more yeah but that's that's and just the wackiness of how he played that character I it's only like wacky it. because we've turned it into a joke no it, just it, looking it, at it he's, wacky. he's he's angry it's it's he's going all out it, i mean he literally he's, he's in the hospital and he's just like just like giving us this as jokers like sticking the gun to his face and just i don't have any problem with harvey dent at all uh or rachel for that matter yeah um I don't know what I would do the movie, differently. The 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 movie I I wouldn't call it a masterpiece as far as all movies go. Yeah. As far as the superhero genre, superhero genre goes, it is at the top. Well, no film that that this doesn't this argument doesn't work because it is on the <laughs> ranking of masterpieces. Wait, what? No, okay, show us this ranking of masterpieces. That there you... is no ranking of masterpieces. You just said there was a ranking. It's yeah, dependent on genre. You just said there okay. was a ranking. It's right. dependent on genre. All right, if it's dependent on genre. It always is. You can't pit any masterfully crafted film against another one that's in a different all genre. Right, I'll, I'll give you that. That's a that's a legit, logical argument. If this is a masterpiece of its genre, then it falls into the masterpiece category. Yes, just like you, a bunch of other masterpieces. You have successful fully argued the point i what? concede no literally i didn't think about that if you say like if you're just trolling me no right i'm now. not <laughs> an, an olympic gold medalist yeah. who is a track star and wins is an olympic gold British, medalist yes star. the same as an olympic swimmer gold medalist is an olympic gold medalist because yes. they're a swimmer you're an olympic gold medalist in your field yes in this field it is a masterpiece. I concede. You d- you concede or you agree? I was saying it's not a masterpiece. It's because an you're incredibly pitting it good against movie. Interstellar. Because I'm pitting it against other things in my mind that are masterpieces. But you shouldn't. It should be of its field. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in its field. Define what a masterpiece is. How would you say this is a masterpiece? But it beats out all the other ones. No, in a genre. masterpiece is basically taking a look at a body of work. Okay, saying this is a piece of work. Okay, and saying based on how well this came out, how well it was crafted, the person who created it is a master. So it is a master's piece. If you look at a film, a piece of body of work, and we say that's a crap film, it's not a masterpiece. The person who created it's not a master of their field. If we were to say- Who's of, deciding of, these masters of pieces? If we were to say- what it, It's all opinion. <laughs> it, it is If opinion. we were to say of the Nolan movies, is this in his masterpieces? Yes. Hmm. No. Uh, if we're just pitting- This is what I say. Interstellar, Nolan. this is not in order, by the way. If I'm going to choose three- Interstellar, Inception, Dark Knight. What about the one other one? Prestige? Yeah. It's not as good as those three. What about Tenet? It's That's not as good as those art. three. They're all, I like almost every single Nolan film, but I just gave you the thing, the, t- the three that I think stand out above the rest. I think you. What, what I, is this? Such a crazy track. concept that you guys are so because you just don't. I I I don't think the movie is the hype that people have built up around. Like it's the end no, all that, be all so of superhero. That's movies. what I was saying when I just said this wasn't. When I I watched it kind of recently and I said it wasn't as good as I thought. It it's that master. It's that building up of this movie because of Heath we all Ledger's we all watched it when we were young and we built and, it up and we built it up and it just it's like i i don't think it's a perfect movie but i don't think any movie is a perfect movie 
I didn't want to spend the whole segment just like. Well, uh, here's uh, the problem: is what's the? Problem? I wanted to talk to you guys and get your get your introspective thoughts about all of the cool intricacies of this film. I know, and you opened up with a. I don't think it's a good I film. Know. I know exa- I know exactly what you wanted to do, and I apologize. I shouldn't have. Because, Man, you know what? We, we, we I wanted to have a stimulating good conversation. We had a good conversation. No, we had a freaking argument to yeah. open up this podcast, and now I have to roll through the next 45 minutes with heart feelings. Yeah, but we, we went the way that was best for this podcast, and we talked about the film, how we would talk about it here on the Weisberg Listen, podcast. Listen, I, I can't. I can't verbalize. I'm going to talk to the audience because you guys aren't going to listen. All right. I can't verbalize everything that's in my head about this. If I had time and I could write it down and present it to you in written form, I could do it. However, just on a conversation level, I can't. However, if you've searched this video, if you found this video, just look up why this is a masterpiece or look up why this is good. You will find so many videos of people, very smart analytical people breaking down this film and you will agree with me at the end of this search and then go ahead and look at people who say why dark knight is not good and it's just going to be a bunch of joshes listen also be a free thinker don't follow the crowd everybody's going to say this is the best movie and it's a masterpiece you don't have to think that i'm saying was youtube rewind bad yeah and who and how we how we And how and who and who decided it was bad? The people. Was this a good film? Yeah. Who the, decided it was everybody? Good? But I'm saying, I think people should be able to look at a film objectively. Look as look at yeah. a piece of work objectively. That's what I'm asking. You guys think this is better than the new Batman movie? I do. I think Batman is the Batman's right under it, but the Batman I, does have some serious problems. I do. I think this one's better too. Yeah. Josh was like, no. <laughs> That Riddler I in li- the gimp suit? I, li- I liked <laughs> the, the... There's elements in that one that felt more, like, true to the comics with the mm-hmm. detectiveness, with the... It just felt more true to the to the comics and to the cartoons that we... Oh, the... the that we know. The movie is a beautiful movie to watch. Oh, yeah. It really is just... No, it's It's, it's an entertaining movie. movie. It's a good movie. Is it... Uh, I would say... Is it a masterpiece? I think I mean, visually it, it's a masterpiece. Visually, it's a masterpiece. I mean, if and anyone who's complaining that it's too dark. If it against the, the pieces of the master, then yes, this is a masterpiece. I think when it comes, no, I think visually the Batman is more of a visual masterpiece than the Dark Knight. Yeah. But when it comes to story craft, when it comes to engagement, hmm. when it comes to... I don't even know how to describe it. When it comes to just even just behind the scenes messaging to reinforce this Wait, simple what? but what? complex no, narrative. No, 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 no. I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, I would do the, the Batman here. Wait, hold on. I, I was kind of on this one. Wait, what? I think the I think the message is. With, I, I think the message. What message do we get here? Oh my god. The message. I I was saying it earlier, and you weren't listening. The message is reversed from from okay. this movie to the Batman. In the Batman, it, in this. Batman is trying to say uh, Gotham is better than people think it is. It's better than the people in it think it is, right? In uh, the Batman movie, the message is Batman is – Batman feels like he is the city and in the end he is better than he thinks he is. Mm-hmm. He's a better person than he thinks he is. Right, he is or not. He needs to be he, a better or, person. Yeah, he, he has to he be a better person than he thinks he is. It's a completely different message. They're they're both interesting, and I enjoy both of them. Uh, but I think ultimately, you know, I wanted to throw out. You know, you said masterpiece. I wanted to throw out. It's not a masterpiece to gauge the reaction. <laughs> yes, and I think genuinely, you proved me wrong. If I was to say, you didn't the approve me. It clicked. It clicked when you said, "In its field, if it's a masterpiece in its field, it's a masterpiece." Yeah, I mean, we got master class. Yeah. All of these masters in their field teaching classes. I I get. Yeah. Okay. I, I would say you're probably right. On the core, it's a simple idea, and it's just presented beautifully. Mm. That's what makes it a masterpiece. 
it is two sides of the same coin. <gasps> like in the movie. Like in the movie. <laughs> Batman, the Joker. Okay? Mm. The same coin or the two sides of the same coin are after the same goal. Or after the same they're after the same thing with different intentions. All right? Mm. It's simple. And they're not too different from each other. They're only their intentions are. All right? And I think it's presented beautifully. I I would say It's not just the joke. I would say crazy. the messaging is incredible because it's like the Joker goes out of his way to prove something. And that is the the overarching thing is Gotham is evil and I can prove it. Mm-hmm. The people on the boat, here's yeah, proof. Yeah. Harvey Dent, here's proof. Mm-hmm. But Batman... And trying to get Batman to like kill him or do something that's going to corrupt Batman's morals. But the, the people on the boat prove that Gotham's not evil. Mm-hmm. Um, what? That's what happens on the boat. They in don't the blow scene. each other they up. They don't blow each other oh, up. Oh, you no, no, no. I, I, so, I know. So so yeah. that that proves that proves Batman right. Mm-hmm. But then the Joker proves that he's right as well with Harvey Dent. It's on a mm-hmm. smaller scale, but it's also very impactful. And mm-hmm. it's it's a really good way of presenting the ideas. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie. It's a bittersweet at the end. It's entertaining. I'll say it's entertaining. Is it a masterpiece? I have yes. to. I have to mark. concede. I have Is to concede. It a it's a masterpiece. Question I, mark. Yeah. We will never know. I dug my own grave by saying it's, it's two a, to one of of. of hey, of this is not a this is not a vote movies. here. We don't get the vote of if it's a masterpiece. Movies, it's a masterpiece. I I feel like I. Uh... Now you know what it is. <laughs> what is a masterpiece here? What? Oh wait. Sorry, I have a few slides. And Enjoy these got facial to. expressions. We never got to them. See, half oh, of that's were, a good one. Half of those were, were the Joker. Because the Joker had funny faces. Yeah. Okay. And look, he's shooting again. Again. Nice. It's fun. But is it like in, you know, the Michael Keaton Batman where he pulls out like a, <laughs> like just like a, a cartoonishly no, long no, pistol no. and shoots the Batman out of the air? No. no you not. always hear me harp on the fact that I want films to be grounded mm-hmm. somewhat. That's, that's how I enjoy them the most. Um, and... In some ways, Batman Begins wasn't grounded enough for me to to really believe in the Batman as a as a superhero. Mm-hmm. It's Dark Knight that got me to believe. Oh yeah, we can have super awesome grounded superhero movies. You know yeah. what I mean? Because Batman Begins started Wait, really that's grounded. Yeah, the Dark Knight is incredibly it's grounded. gritty. I mean, no, yeah. grounded as far as like believable believability. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's not. Yeah, but I don't know you know, uh, I don't think we have any clowns running around that wear look, face paint. Look, uh, <laughs> there was a there was a minute there where clown on like yeah, the clowns, online. Yeah, the clowns were big. Video was, people were dressing up as clowns yeah, but a mob around. boss clown. Mm. I think it was when it was coming out, right? But look, I think I think the best movies uh, are the ones that are most dissected and the most subject to the most criticism mm-hmm. because they're the best. So that's what I would say. Well, it's because we're like, we watch it and we're like, is this the best movie? Mm -hmm. So we start nitpicking it and trying to find the things that aren't the best. We got to double check ourselves here, man, because we can't just flippantly call something the best. Whereas we watch a bad movie and we're like, yeah, it sucked. Move on. Right. You know what I mean? 